people that are practicing witchcraft against your life to cause strange things to begin to happen. To destroy everything you have worked hard to build. To destroy relationships, to bring the vision and strife, to steal your life, to bring you to a point of a, a mental breakdown. I'm seeing that so far that the enemy is trying to send people after your life. Not just spiritually, but to send people. Set your hands. Set your hands. Satan wants to endanger this man's life. But the scripture says, Jesus come and I might have, and we might have what? Life. And have it more abundantly. He said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. And the Lord said, we to be not afraid. David said, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I shall pay no evil. He said, for thou art with me. The Lord has also shown me you have some dreams. And in those dreams, you have warnings. They were like nightmares. But there were warnings from the Most High. And some of them were satanically sent to put fear and intimidation in your spirit. But God is about to break that. He's about to lose you. He's about to set you free. He's about to renew your strength. Satan sent a demonic oppression to bring a sort of weakness upon your body. To make you feel like you're not yourself. And the Lord sent the battle is the Lord. And the victory belongs to us. Somebody shout the battle, the battle is the Lord. Lord. And the victory belongs to us. Somebody shout victory. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We command the anointing of deliverance. Throw, Father. Set them free. Make a way. Break every yoke. Break every chain. Break every slaughter. Destroy every satanic power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Move by your spirit. The Lord is showing me in the near future something coming up like a court matter. Where people and the enemy are going to try to set you up. The Lord said in that time get in contact with the man of God he has sent you here tonight. No one coming unless the spirit of the Lord has drawn them. And he's going to move in that matter when it comes up. He's going to prove your innocence. He's going to bring victory and deliverance. For the just shall live by what? Faith. Come on, somebody. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare to be so. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Now put your hands together for the living God tonight. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and give God awesome way of offering tonight. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout, God is good. God is good. All the time. At every time. God is good. Shake the hands of the person standing next to you. Hallelujah. And I want you to shout, God is good. Amen. Sometimes you need to smile at the person standing next to you because you don't know how bad their day was. Amen. I need something to brighten them up. Amen. So you got to be that light. I want you to turn to them again. Say, listen, brother or sister, I know if you know him, but God is good. God is good. All the time. And every time. God is good. Hallelujah. We want to lift up our hands tonight. And we want to worship God. I want you to know that God loves you. Amen. Amen. Sometimes God's people go through so much. Sometimes you're lonely. Sometimes you're broken, hallelujah. And sometimes you can't tell anyone, hallelujah. But I want you to know that God knows, amen. Hallelujah. God knows and he sees all, amen. And sometimes all he wants you to do is empty yourself, hallelujah. For he said, open ye everlasting gates and let the king of glory enter. You are the gateway tonight uh, that God will enter, the, that God will enter through your heart tonight. Uh, open up your hearts unto the living God. Let him do what he needs to do tonight as you worship him. And lift up your hands unto the living God tonight. And reach out and touch him tonight. For he is able tonight.
of somebody. Zahora, God expects everything that you have in you. Silver, every nerve, every fiber, every vein, everything that's within you. Praise the Lord. Come on, somebody. Everything that's within you. Supposed to be crying out unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. Because He's the God of your salvation. He's the God who reigns over all the earth. And he's watching his eyes about the set goes to and fro upon the face of the earth. Beholding the good and the evil. Amen. You know sometimes we just say the eyes of the Lord goes to and fro upon the face of the earth. But we have to look beyond that and say, he said, beholding the good and the evil. Is that alright? So his, his eyes not just going through the earth without looking at what man is doing. Is that all right? Amen. He is keeping a record of what we are doing on earth. Is that all right? Amen. And this is why he said his hands is against those believers who have left him out. Is that all right? Amen. They have left him out. They are after their own things. He said his hands is against them. Come on, son. So we better be very careful. The God we serve, the Bible says, is a consuming fire. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to bless you with a song. I want to sing this song tonight. He is Lord. Amen. He should be Lord and ruler and master of all lives. After all these great prophecies, to see the things that God said He's about to do, He said He's going to do it swiftly. So don't take God lightly, not take His word in vain. All that he says he's going to do, and this we can pray out. Is that all right? So let's keep ourselves in the act of safety. Is that all right? For he is Lord. Hallelujah. He alone is Lord. He has risen from the dead, and he is Lord. Hallelujah. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord.
pull somebody hand next to you tonight. Hallelujah. And let's begin to lift up our nation. Let's begin to lift up our loved ones, our fathers, our mothers, those that are sick, those that are oppressed, those that are by the wayside, those that are in need of a miracle. Hallelujah. Begin to speak to him right where you are. Begin to talk to him right where you are. The King of Glory is here to meet you at the point of your need. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the mighty God, the great I am that I am that I am. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. When you open your mouth, begin to speak to him. Begin to talk to him. Begin to cry out to him tonight. Hallelujah. There's power in prayer.
that's true. The Lord said, because you love matter that you want to attend to. The Lord said that to receive what you have lost is going to be a hard fight, a hard battle. It's going to be a lot of mental stress and emotional stress. The Lord said, if you fight, you can recover what you have lost. But the Lord said, the Lord said, but there are things that you cannot recover from the mental stress, the emotional stress. The Lord said, if you go ahead and you fight, there's going to be a long, drawn out battle. And you can find victory. But the Lord said, if you wait on Him, you can recover all that you have lost. And He will provide, and He will bless, and He will send, He will increase. And you leave them in my hands, and I will fight the battle for you. And I will give up to you what you will have lost without picking up this matter. I will return it on to you a hundredfold more than you have lost. The Lord said, what you cannot get back is the peace of mind and the peace of heart and the physical and emotional and mental stress you will have to face during this battle. The Lord said if you leave it in my hand, what you have lost, you shall recover. By my will, I will send you increase. I will lift up, I will heal, and I will provide. The Lord said the choice is in your hand. Behold the Lamb of God. I want to operate in the Spirit unspeakable say the Lord but behold say the Lord I will melt the stony heart I will bring them to their knees I will turn the rock for good the battle is not yours but the Lord trust in me some trust in chariots some trust in horses some put their trust in one but bless it to who shall put their trust in me. Behold, say the Lord put your trust in me. And I will destroy the work and the plans of the enemy. And I will deliver you out of this circumstance. With your marriage and your life intact. With a testimony. For you shall overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of the testimony. The Lord said, concerning your contract, according to your faith, it shall be done and it shall be renewed. Your faith, use your faith. Do not fear, do not doubt. Use your faith. Now the Lord my God shall do it. Behold the Lamb of God. Must you pray in the Holy Spirit? Behold, see the Lord, as I begin to scroll, on Saturday, and I spoke concerning the matters and the issues within all who are living in the wrong views of our world. There is a, a strong man, a satanic giant, that has entered here within the past few months. And behold, all those that are spiritual in that compound are going to rise up, pray fast, and win the battle in the spirit. For under the blood the devil cannot do no harm. Satan will set Eko to Reba side. He will try to bring up fiction, division, fear, doubt. But this is the time and the season to rise up, to use the faith, to see deliverance, to see healing for yourself, for your wife, for your children, even those who have taken him as your children. Behold, say the Lord is not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit, said the Lord of hosts. This is the season. This is the time for the breakthrough. Behold, remember the call. Remember my call that is upon you, say the Lord. To whom much is given, much is required of you. The sacrifice might be hard, but the victory shall be great, say the Lord of hosts.
as both the family have situations and an evil forces of which God trusts me against you. I have begun the work and I will finish the work in the Lord. They for the most high, not just for the Father, but for the rest of them who are not saved. They stand to press in and pray. And he will bring the whole side to watch them. He can just see them and he will see them saved and delivered. He will bring the case to the back of the back. He will for the uncles that practice the commandments and that seek and believe in the evil, say the Lord. I will bring them out. Behold, the wrath of God is a season of prayer. And a covering. Behold the land of God. I want you to pray. Behold, say the Lord, you have sent woes to accomplish. Financial woes. And the Lord said, As you are remain committed to me, I will be committed to you. And you will accomplish what you have started. For I am the king of glory. The Lord God Almighty. The Lord God Almighty in but uh, behold the Lamb of God. Uh, here it is said, uh, He that beginneth the good work uh, will finish it. Here I must have a sacrifice in your marriage upon your children's life. Here it is said, I will promote them, I will bless them, I will heal them. Here it is said, when the enemy will try to bring division and frustration, I will remove it. You represent the head of your home. But as I speak to you, I speak to all. Here I must. You are one huh? many warfares huh? within your home, but the battle is still on. Be huh? watchful. Huh? Look out by every subtle device of the enemy about coming huh? to your home and the lives of your children. And be praying as a family. And what has not changed yet, what has not increased yet, it is coming. Huh? I have promised you and I've been hold back. It is coming, say the Lord of hosts. It's not my might, not my power, but by the Spirit, say the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, say the Lord. Think it not strange that I have not. That you have faced so much battles and tribulations and persecutions in your life, and it seems like I have not. Hearing your prayer, say the Lord. I have heard your prayer, but many of your choices have led you into oppression and depression. Many times you wonder why you have made those choices in your life, or your life ends up like that. You never made to come to that state. But the Lord said, My grace and my mercy is still upon you and upon your children to bring you out with a mighty hand. It's a Towards you, and as you stretch forth your hand of faith, I will pull you out from the flood and the dirty waters of the enemy surrounding your life. Satan attacked the areas of your life and is full of fear and doubt and depression and anxiety, and even the trying to bring you to a point of suicide and mental but if you will seek me, you will know my plan that will surpass all of your knowledge and it shall not separate you from me. But I'm calling as it is written, eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. What I have prepared for them who have loved me and wait upon me. The Lord will wait upon him and be faithful and you will see deliverance and victory. The Lord is showing me a job that He is preparing for you. Something way better than what you have ever had. That will supply you every need. That will cause you to be independent. That you can stand up on your two feet and man's power. Yes, it to Romosa. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We command it to be so. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. By faith. And the words are said that keeps attacking our health. And every time you put your hands into something, if it start going good, then Satan will begin to walk and will begin to go down. 
era a situ robotan. O via mouse change the stuff. Say speak to my life. That change is coming. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command change. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray you can have pattern over her life. We speak a word of a miracle in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By faith, Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you. We pray. Ete re boko do re mete amama situ re mete sa. And also, you got to rededicate your life to baptism. You can, I said, there is an unclean spirit following you wherever you go. This spirit keeps attracting the wrong people to surround your life, to pull you down. Satan has left himself your uncle, and he's been pulling you down into a dark pit. There is a light before you, and a hand is through the light to bring you out. The Lord said, as you begin to follow this instruction, to rededicate your life to baptism, give me some water that's for her. The anointing that will be set in that water will be the blessing. It's to sanctify your body tonight. But what will sanctify your spirit and soul is as you rededicate your life completely and solely to the Lord to walk in obedience. Yes, the liver will come. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Loose and set them free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now the church church pray, pray, pray. They call on your seat on the back side. Satan will be attacking your head. He for the back side. Touch your hand, you are praying in the Holy Ghost. You are praying in the Holy Ghost. And Lord show me that evil set up in your head that cast your loved one to be calling and fighting and much fruit. I see it is the intention of Satan to the stop up the mind you have it. The Lord said he has sent you here and his spirit to stop the plan and stop and strategy of the devil against your life. It's not by mind, not by power, but by the Spirit set the Lord of hope. When the devil shall come in as a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall raise a standard. Raise a standard, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By faith, we thank you, Lord. So many he the answer. The Lord said he wants you to understand the difference between a battle and a war. Here are master, a war. You will have many battles. Now you have won many battles, but you are still in the war. And the war has taken as one against you is that you wouldn't go forward. And every time you make steps to go forward, you must keep pulling you back. You must enter your prayer life, your desire, your passion, and your love towards it. And the Lord said, be careful of the voices that you listen to and the voices that you trust. He said, for his sheep, they know his voice. And as another, they will not fall. The Lord said, have a mind that is dependent on hearing his voice. And allow him to lead you in your green pasture. It's a season where he wants to lead you in your green pasture. It's a season he wants to lead you beside the still waters. That you will be lack, that you will be strong, that you will be healed, that you will not overcome. The Lord said that there is a certain type of sickness that attacking you with. 
you will go very far past the two or three months and then you will attack you again in your hell and the Lord said this is when you want to completely win the warfare concerning that area of healing and deliverance in your head and overcome here I am a shit or a mass open your mouth and say God has called us let me overcome us let me overcome us and conquer us for we are more than conquered you can't who gives us strength I come and strength to the spirit the name of Jesus Christ and faith I'm hoping to you tonight to prophetic utterance alright <laughs> Glory to Jesus. God has spoken to you tonight through prophetic utterances. Amen. 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 Uh, this Saturday is communion service. Prepare your heart and your mind for communion service. It's also our covenant service. Amen. Amen. It's also our what? Covenant service. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Somebody. Amen. 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 Most of all, very important, we want to remember, amen, somebody. The father of this ministry, the founder of this ministry, the apostle of this ministry, the one that God has used to lay the foundation, we are coming this Saturday to appreciate him, amen, somebody. For you all to walk with your seed of honor, amen, somebody. The book of James. Chapter 1. Just for a brief moment tonight. Glory to Jesus. As we have been studying the book of James on Wednesday night, when we get the time to do it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And let's begin to read from verses 6 as we read it together. Amen. All from tonight. James chapter 1 and verses 6. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, as I'm about to get into your word, give me utterance. Let the inspiration of the Almighty God flow through me. And I will minister, Lord Jesus, to the hearts and spirits of your people. And they will receive in Jesus' mighty name by faith. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Let's begin to read. But let him ask in faith, not wavering. For he that wavering is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. Amen, somebody. Tell them never say anything you are asking of God tonight. Or been asking of God. You got to ask in what? Faith. Come on, somebody. Remember what Jesus said. Let me pray. Believe you have received what you have asked for. And you shall have them. Tell your neighbor say, when you are praying, amen, somebody. When you come in that deliverance service, you come in the anointing of God is whatever you have been asking God for. You've been praying for. You've been fasting for. Walk around like you have already received it. That is the spirit of faith. Amen, somebody. Tell your neighbor say, I am walking around. It's like I have already received it. Because I know in my heart that God has not lied to me. Amen. Come on, somebody. Tell your neighbor say, I'm walking around. I'm walking around. From tonight. Like I have received it. I've already received my blessing. I've already received my healing. I've already received my deliverance. I've already received restoration. I've already received change. Come on, somebody. God has put it back together. What I've been broken. I've already received it. Somebody shout, I have already received it. But the scripture said, He that has not faith is what? But let him ask in faith, not waver it. For he that waver it is like what? The wave of the sea driven with the wind and toss. So a person, tell the neighbor, said there's a difference between talking faith and living faith. Turn to your neighbor again and say there's a difference. Come on, don't be afraid. I find some of you afraid to talk to your brother and sister. That's your brother, that's your sister. Come on, come on, somebody. Amen. You're talking to them because you love them. Amen. Tell them if you don't ask in faith. Amen. The skin 
can affect your life though. The wind, amen somebody. Amen somebody. Some of you like the wind, tossed by the wind to and fro. So everything the devil say move you. Everything people say move you. Everything happening in your life move you. Every even attack of sickness, disease, problem, fear, doubt, anything that happened moves you. Amen, somebody. You become too emotional, wrapped up in your cell that say that is able to affect your life. Amen. Come on, somebody. Rather than God affecting you. Come on, somebody. Turn to your neighbor and say, God got to affect you more than Satan affecting you. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. You've got to have such trust and confidence in God. Even somebody. Amen. You've got to be able to tell the devil, come on, somebody. Listen to me, as I said many times, and this is a fact. This is not condemning anyone or trying to destroy anyone. Amen, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. But Satan doesn't walk around with horns saying, I am Satan. Come on, somebody. Satan can use people that are ignorant. Satan can use people that do not know better. Then they can be empty, they can be a friend, they can be a family, they can be a loved one, they can be a brother, they can be a sister, and they can just relax spiritually, and Satan can use them to, to affect you, to hurt you, to bring you, come on somebody, to make you doubt yourself, doubt God, doubt God word, doubt God promise, doubt the prophetic word in your life, come on somebody, come on to bring fear, to bring anxiety, come on somebody, that's why David, blessed is he who can put his trust in the Lord. To trust God is to be confident Amen. in what God is saying concerning your life. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. If, you do, if you cannot trust God, then who can you really trust? Amen. Turn the neighbor and say, if you cannot trust, if God, you can't trust God, God and His Holy Spirit, His love letter given to us, then who can you trust? Can you trust a friend? Can you trust a brother? Can you trust a wife? Can you trust a husband? Can you trust a business partner? If you cannot trust what God is saying about your life, if you cannot trust the love of God, then who can you trust? If you cannot trust the Creator, then who can you trust? Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. So when we do not have we are easily moved by everything. We are easily disturbed by everything. We are living a life of fear, doubt, panic, and depression. But when we begin to study God more, we are able to trust God. And we are able to tell the devil he's a liar. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You know how to look at your brother or sister and tell them they are lying. But you can go in prayer and in the spirit and say, Devil, you are that. I don't believe what that brother said. I don't believe what that sister said. I don't believe what that doctor said. I don't believe what that lawyer said. I don't believe man before. I know what God has spoken in my life. Because doctors make mistakes every day. Lawyers make mistakes every day. Man make mistakes every day. But there is one who will never make a mistake. And that is your Lord and your Savior, Jesus. Come on, somebody. Amen. You won't make a mistake of selling your life, your home, your family, your mother, your children. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Give God some praise tonight. But we that away from it is like a wave of the sea. He is what? Shiver with the wind. The Satan can drive you out of your blessing. He can drive you out of your peace. He can drive you out of your call. He can show you how big the mountain is. How heavy it is. How much rocks you have to climb. How much water you have to cross. Come on, he will make you feel like you can't make it. Because you are lacking in faith. And when you are not lacking in faith, come on somebody, you are able to do the impossibilities in your life. Jesus took Peter by the hand 
and walk out on the water. And told them that you have faith, you can do the same thing as I am doing. Come on, somebody. And when Jesus let go of Peter's hand, the test his faith, he began to sink. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And Jesus looked at him and told him that he lacked in faith. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Turn to your neighbor and say, you can stand on the water too. The reason why Jesus took Peter out of the water because Jesus believed in Peter. Come on, somebody. The reason why God sent his only begotten son because he believes in you. He believes that you have the qualities to answer the call to overcome and to conquer if you will only trust in him as your God, as your Savior, as your Master, as your Father. Amen, somebody. Give God some praise tonight. Even that's why Paul said to know the love of God has surpassed all what? All of our knowledge. Amen. Put what you know aside. Because what you know cannot be compared to the God of creation. But to the most high God. When we lack faith in our lives, see that going to drive us up against the wall. He's going to drive us into the spirit. He's going to drive us into hopelessness. He's going to make you feel like God is not present. And God has not called you. That God has not chosen you. And God will not bless you. That God will do anything for you. And nothing is not changing. And that's what He does. He makes you feel. Amen. God don't want you to feel. He wants you to have faith. Amen. He wants you to know the knowledge of His will. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Turn to your neighbor and say, do you know what God has called you to? What God has called you to does not work by your feelings. It works by your faith. For when all faith, it is impossible to please God. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. When you lack faith, the Bible said you're going to waver. And you're going to be driven by, amen, like the wind, amen, somebody, by the winds. Amen. Just like the waves of the sea. And toss, amen, somebody, to and fro. Amen. You're going to be unstable in your life. Your way of thinking. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Your spirit, your life is going to be unstable. Your walk with Christ is going to be unstable. Everything in your life is going to become unstable. Because you lack faith. Faith is what stabilizes you with your walk with God. And stabilizes all the promises of God surrounding your life. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 Put your hands together for the Lord tonight. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So a person that is wavering is doubtful. Amen. And he becomes double-minded in all of his ways. You become what? Turn to your neighbor and say, God will create you with a double mind. He created you to have one mind. And that you have a spiritual mind. Or a carnal man. And he said to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace to Christ Jesus. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. The mind of the flesh breeds doubt, breeds fear, breeds anxiety, breeds depression. Amen. Come on, somebody. The mind of the spirit breeds love, joy, and peace. Positivity. Amen. Come on, somebody. It always is directing you. You are you are always looking unto Jesus, who is the altar and the finish of your faith. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. 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 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. What does verse 7 say? For let not that man think he shall receive anything of the Lord. Do not think that you are doubting God in your heart that you are capable of receiving anything. He that cometh to God must believe that he is God. He is supreme ruler. He is the author and the finisher of your faith. He is God of our own creation. Come on, somebody. That's a God, your creator. It's the God, your existence. Say to your neighbor, say to the dog of your creator, it's the dog of your existence. That's what you are doing when you talk to your creator. And I want you to take note of that, you are doubting your existence. You doubt your existence, you are doubting your destiny, your blessing, your peace, everything that God, amen somebody, has called you to. Amen somebody, and put in place to provide for you. Come on, somebody. You are doubting the existence of it. Therefore, you are doubting your, your own existence in Christ Jesus. Come on, somebody. Come on. Turn to your neighbor and say, how can you doubt your creator? When you doubt your creator, you doubt your own existence. Come on, somebody. And we're going to leave with that. If any of us here is doubting our creator, our most high God, Amen. who have sent his son, then you are doubting your existence. And you are doubting the existence of your blessing, your peace, your breakthrough, and all of God's promises. Still, the neighbor said, don't doubt God. <laughs> Believe God. Believe. Wait upon God. Believe. Wait upon his promises. And he shall bring it to pass. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. 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 Amen somebody. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, the reason why God tested your faith. The reason why God tested your faith. Because he wants to test your love for him. Come on. Amen. When you test your faith, you test your love. Amen. Come on. Amen. When you test your faith, you test his your love. Amen. Your obedience in His will. Your obedience in His word. Amen? Amen. Give God some praise tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Peter and you over to the apostles tonight. Give God some praise. If you come on my Saturday, we're praying for everyone.